guys, it's Algridas with some playing tips and today we're going to talk about the fingers and the um, mind finger connection. So just like any other aspect of brass playing, it is very, very important to determine why is the problem occurring. And when it comes to finger problems, um, we're usually talking about the speed and accuracy and those always have explanation. So. My personal experience, um, usually when it uh, comes to younger players, um, the finger problems occur mostly due to two main reasons, which is incorrect hand positioning or um, weakness in certain fingers. So on this particular video, I'm going to cover the aspect of mind and finger connection and how to get your fingers to strengthen up. So the usual suspect is usually the third finger, which is the kind of weak, um, insensitive, uncontrolled finger. And for players who have the fourth valve, so euphonium players, baritone players, tuba players, they usually use the stronger finger for them, fourth um, valve, but it's usually the mind connection because um, we tend to practice the fourth valve way less than we do our main three fingers. So this is kind of a bigger topic if I wanted to get into the details so I might break it down into multiple videos but for now I'm just gonna go show you a quick exercise which I pretty much incorporate on daily basis in my warm-up exercises and I'm gonna explain you on how to perform it in a way that would benefit your accuracy and strengthen the fingers. So what I normally do is just play a very simple chromatic pattern which goes um, um, bottom F sharp, we're talking about treble clef, up to the way, up to the um, low C. And then we uh, add a semitone and continue up till we reach um, treble clef D, which is probably the last complicated combo. So let me just quickly show you so you get a better clue what I'm talking about. and so on up till we reach the um, low D. So obviously I'm using the fourth valve because I'm playing euphonium, but you can um, consciously choose to um, use the third uh, valve combos uh, if you like to. And I actually highly encourage you to mix up. So the way we normally do this exercise is we do it in four segments for each pattern. So we do the first segment straight and we bang valves really, really hard. We don't focus on speed. The focus is complete accuracy control and strength. So let me just show you what I mean by that. Obviously, don't take a breath in between. I just took a really crappy breath, but anyway, I might cut this out. <laughs> anyway, the second segment is going to be the altered rhythm, so which sounds like this. And the third segment is going to be um, the same rhythm, just reverse. So all these three segments, we are trying to bang valves really, really hard and solid. So we get that brain connection and we also strengthen the coordination of the fingers and the muscle. So the fourth segment, once we uh, already did the um, first three, is the same as the first one, except for now we're playing with relaxed fingers. So we're kind of going into the autopilot mode. So let me just quickly show you. So after first three segments, you will probably notice that the fourth one is actually pretty easy. And then we um, 
continue up semitones until we reach our last complicated combo, which, invo which highly involves the third finger or the fourth finger. So the key to performing this on a daily basis, and uh, I'm a huge believer of metronome, I um, encourage you to set the tempo, which would allow you to play the pattern super comfortably. And then keep a track of it and increase it by a couple of beats or a beat or two, three beats every single day. And you'll notice that um, usually after a couple of weeks, the pattern becomes very, very natural and you become much more aware of the third finger, the fourth finger, because the first, the first two are usually not a problem. And once you do that, you'll notice a huge improvement in your pieces. So whenever you have um, kind of a sequence, fast sequence, which involves like complicated combos with third or fourth finger, you become much more aware and you kind of even see those combos in the score. And um, that's usually um, the big problem when it comes to um, messing up the accuracy of the notes. People just kind of are unaware of where the problem occurs. So hopefully that was useful. And as always, uh, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, share it on your social media platform, help this channel grow. Uh, let me know if you want any other topics to be covered on my videos on my Facebook page. And uh, if you want to, make sure to leave a um, comment in the description box below. And as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, work hard and keep motivated. Till the next time.